interactive like yesterday. Yeah. Right, I think yesterday was a highly interactive uh, program. Uh, we had a lot of activities. Right? We have uh, multiple mode of activities too, from quizzes to video watching, discussions, even presentation. So today we are going to do the same thing, but of course different topics. All right, looking at different sections. Before that, mari kita review lah, recap dulu. Now, based on yesterday's feedback from Kahoot. Remember Kahoot? I think we had a lot of fun playing that. Let me go to Kahoot now. Try to summary of all of your responses. Question one: eh? At what level of DG do you think we are at now? So most of you said definitely above average. Right? This is summary. Eh, okay lah, nam lah. Right? So okay, okay lah, definitely above. Average, we are good. DG in terif uh, is terrific in Malaysia. Unfortunately, none. So we say we are there. We are above average, but there are a lot of things that we can still do, right, to achieve our mission or aim. Next, what can be further improved to fully realize Malaysia's D plan so we have this professional development of staff heightening awareness of DG among citizens leadership and management as top of course perhaps there are others but these were the options given to all of you but you see yes maybe a lot more professional development um, heightening of DG among citizens I think we also discussed that yesterday to us yes there are a lot of info out there but maybe awareness can be further heightened right to get the out there of the Malaysians another area is leadership and management again another aspect that we discussed yesterday how we can get our leaders and our management team to understand DG a bit more and a, be a bit more strategic in rolling out DG. And I agree. And yesterday, I threw all of the presentation. Next, the majority of Malaysia are now using the various governments' online services. And I agree. Yes, they are using, which is a good thing. Well, strongly agree. Malaysians are using our online services. Five, many key government based services transactions can be done online now. Yes, agree. And strongly disagree. I strongly agree. We have a lot saying this. That, yeah. Many key government-based services can be done online now, which is good. So easier. People can do at the comfort of their homes. Or anywhere for that matter. Malaysians can do many of their government-based transactions on various mobile devices. Agree. A lot of you are saying this. Malaysians are very satisfied with the government's various online services. Ah. A lot of you disagree. So they are using they are using the services. They know that they can use these services on various mobile devices. However, most of this room said that uh, Malaysians are very satisfied. Yes, you said they are satisfied, agree, but most of you said also disagree. Alright? There are people saying, yeah, I agree. But most of you say, well maybe they are not satisfied with the services right they are there 
they know about it they are using it maybe they are not satisfied using these services now personally i have full confidence in doing any online e-government transactions agree some of you disagree but many agree which is good so you have confidence in using and can be fully realized in more than five years. Again, we need to shorten that, right? We agreed on this yesterday. We cannot go 2050, maybe 2025. Right? We need to shorten that. Short recap of what we did yesterday. You felt about certain things in the topic of digital government, Malaysia digital government that is, and what more can be done. So again, uh, quick recap, we know there are a lot of people out there using the services. We know that there are good services too. Many key, key sections and services can be done online now, but we all feel that awareness can be further heightened. We think that all of these services can be further improved so that Malaysians are more satisfied while using these services all right and there were a number of factors that were raised yesterday uh, kenapa malaysians perhaps don't like or maybe they are when they are using it they can be bet, uh, they can be more satisfied in using it one for example uh, they think that some of the services maybe can be a bit slow lah at certain times right because it's seasonal macam like hermes system right we talk about it Today. At certain times, it can slow down the work. And maybe some of you said that, okay, maybe as they are doing those services, in fact, it can slow down. Some of you say that it's taking a lot of time and sometimes you get locked out too. All right? Because you think that hey, maybe some uh, infrastructure can be better there. All right? The way we do things, the bad work can be better too. All right? And I gave you this example yesterday too when I was surfing malaysia.gov.my some of the things that are on that website they are still, well, not cannot be done fully online I have to download and then I still have to go to the offices to submit my forms Now in the true form of DG I think we all know this well, it should be done everything online Alright What do today to further or find some good solutions to overcome the challenges. But before that, let's have a discussion on. Semalam ada ini tau. Ah, yes. Ah. Remember, I give you homework. <coughs> Recap lah, eh? In the true spirit of problem-based learning. This is how you know it's done. In the true essence of PBL, we give you just a, maybe a snapshot of a certain uh, scenario. Then all of you will try to work out some solutions to that scenario. Alright? So Rumahnya. Dia nak tahu dengan lebih lanjut. Macam apa ni? Malaysia.gov.my Nampak bagus. Macam-macam dia buat online. Tetapi, she's worried lah. There are many things that she has to navigate now. Mobile devices. Apa tu benda wifi. Dia kata kita ada ni semua bagus. Tapi mana I nak cari info ni? I nak bayar insurance. I nak transfer bagaimana because Britain cannot give you everything lah right Britain maybe give you an overview of it but now she has and orang macam-macam eh thank you kalau I pergi building tu I know I kasih duit eh atau I bikin transaction I know benda tu dah go through lah so in this sense actually actually uh, most of you said this yesterday you know 
If we are conditioned in doing something Kalau kita nak berubah Susah sikit nak berubah Sebab dah terlalu biasa lah Right, we are conditioned in doing this. Especially uh, the veterans atau seniors Right, they think that eh, Doing this safe ke? Kalau I transact this way, masuk ke? These are valid points you know, and valid arguments too Very practical things that are happening on the ground In fact, most of you surfaced this uh, problem yesterday too Orang-orang veteran lah, eh, warga emas Bagaimana? Kan? Bagaimana mereka melihat kaedah-kaedah sebegini? Right? How do they perceive it? Short bus, again, three, maybe three, five minutes around the table. We discuss how to now assist heroes in overcoming all of this. This is very practical. All right? A person who knows about DG, who wants to get on board, but don't know how to begin or where to go to. How can we help her? Three to five minutes. Buzz. In fact, yesterday that a short discussion. You don't have to write, just uh, buzz within your group.
<laughs> One more minute Then we close this discussion One more minute Dengan nasi ayam tu ya. Okay, let us have a group discussion, a big, a whole group discussion on this. Uh, we start with tim makan lah. Boleh tak tim makan? Ah, tim makan. Kita dah. Are you going to change your name again? Oh, stick lah. So stick tim ABC, tim makan, tim flexible, tim savvy tu. Ah, dah ada nama pun. Yeah. Kenapa I pick on tim makan eh, dengan nasi ayam? <laughs> ada, ada ada hal nasi ayam kat sini. Okay, can we do that? Uh, yes, tim makan first. What do you think? Bagaimana kita nak membantu Cik Ros? Ya, yeah. ini itu? Dalam setiap kawasan parlimen, ada kolej komuniti yang dihubungkan di bawah kerjaan pendidikan tinggi. Ah. So di kolej komuniti itu uh, ada diadakan khusus-khusus jangka pendek every satu day and day. Uh, target grup dia adalah suri rumah suri rumah macam-macam yang berada di kampung. Ah, okay. So uh, ada khusus pengenalan IT lah. Ah, that's good. Untuk khas untuk macam-macam itu, tapi tak tahu pula ada package uh, uh, beli uh, handphone ke beli tablet ke. Ah. Ada lagi lah. Okey okey. Uh, itu untuk kawasan itu untuk kawasan yang yang dekat-dekat dengan uh, pekan bandar tapi kalau betul-betul rural di kampung-kampung ada uh, inisiatif by uh, Kementerian Kebandar. Hmm. Um, projek internet desa. Okey. Uh, so dia orang tubuhkan satu um, pusat internet uh, di desa dan ajaran macam-macam ini. Okey. Alright jadi Lah, eh? Ah. Internet. Macam internet cafe lah. Okay. Ah, tapi, tapi ramai orang tak tahu. What do you think? Ada college tu ada. Tapi bagaimana awarenessnya? Ramai orang tak tahu mengenai college ini. What do you think? Atau can be further improve lah. Uh, maybe awarenessnya kita boleh lah. Sebab college komiti ni biasanya glamour untuk kusuk-kusuk masak-masak, masak nasi ayam. Ah, masak itu yang dengan nasi ayam. Kusuk-kusuk. Ah. Sebab dia program yang jenis hujung uh, minggu, tapi okay. rumah. Uh, Alright. Makcik-makcik ni, bayar RM20, RM50, RM50. And then you can bring back the cake, the biskut. So eh, okey lah. Okey, bagus. Bahan-bahan semua dia adakan? Uh, kita bayar RM50, semua bahan. Semua dah ada? Dia. Wah, bagus Nasinya, tu. Nasinya dengan ayamnya, rempah hainan, whatever. Eh, ayam nak pergi juga, bagus. <laughs> Ini nak bet. Tapi untuk khas untuk macik-macik lah atau anyone can go. Ah, wah, wow, not not bad ah. Okay, so kita ada college ni. So which is a good thing. Ha, ada tempat yang kita boleh merujuk untuk mendapatkan informasi, alright, atau khusus-khusus. But that's what you pointed out. Kebanyakan khusus-khusus ini mengenai maybe cooking, baking and all that. So my question is, macik-macik, pacik-pacik ni Tahu tak tentang khusus-khusus yang lain-lain? IT and all that. 
Ah. Jadual khusus tu memang ada lah. Okey. Ah, kau kau. Okey, in order kita nak educate macam-macam kan. Hmm. Hmm. Kalau macam nak buat kek, masak, dia orang memang suka. Hmm. So, dia memang akan pergi cari. Dia lebih tahu lah. Tetapi, kalau IT, pada pandangan saya ke, mereka akan berasa takut. Ah. Jadi, dia pandang IT ni satu benda yang sangat susah tau. Sebab, so. tengok mak saya je lah, senang kan. Ah. So, pada pandangan saya, kita ok buat dia, kita educate. Tapi, kita, apa kata kita tubuhkan satu support team dekat college tu sendiri. Untuk personally, uh, ajar makcik tu step by step ah. dia. Sebab dia orang ni Sebenarnya orang-orang yang berusia ni mereka sensitif Mereka nak tanya buat banyak pun dia rasa takut kita tak selesa semua tu kan mm. So kita adakan support, support team tu very important lah pada saya Untuk encourage, untuk motivate yep. Agree? The rest? Agree or not? Our seniors atau warga emas They are apprehensive, uncertain, afraid of IT. Do you agree? Yeah, generally lah. Generally, right? Again, because mereka perhaps tak tahu lah, kan? Bagaimana nak pakai uh, IT ni susah ke tak? Am I, uh, you know, up for it? You know, I, I'm interested, right? A lot of buzz on IT, tapi boleh ke? Right, so now we have a college that does this. Okay, at least ada juga tempat lah eh, untuk merujuk. So my question is, mereka tahu tak? That's one. The other one is, are they willing to go? You know, ah. And you have pointed out a very salient point. It is also happening in Singapore. Sama juga. We are trying to get our seniors to go and upgrade themselves in the area of IT. Terutamanya Singapura eh, sebab uh, my our PM pun dah kasih kita lakarkan eh uh, in 2020 we all have to be smart alright becoming a smart nation that means everyone should go on IT so there is an added pressure here for warga emas to go on IT they need to know how to make use of IT so what we have done In fact, uh, it's a national movement. Ah, I the last time or now, I think I've shared this with all of you, the ones who were with me, the first round of training or the workshop. In 2016, we have launched this thing called Skills Future Movement. Yeah, each and every Singaporean now has $500 of Skills Future credit for skills upgrading, skills deepening, just to upgrade themselves. In any areas, anda boleh choose anything that you want to upgrade yourself in. Of course, the elderly atau warga emas, they are highly encouraged lah to take IT, to improve on their IT skills. So, things like fundamentals of social media, satu hari may workshop atau tiga hari. Ha, kalau orang tak tahu tu lah, they need a bit more time, right? There is a one day to three days workshop. Fundamentals are just how to get into social media, how to create social media, maybe Facebook atau IG, Instagram, eh? uh, Instagram atau Twitter, whatever lah they want. The other one is fundamentals of IT. Bagaimana nak switch on computer? It's as simple as that. Yeah, I am quite um, uh, surprised, you know. When some of these uh, participants yang pergi eh kadang I, I go and uh, do my all uh, my own walkabouts lah and look at the training centers some of these uh, warga emas do not know how to switch on computer pun ah right then let alone ni lah nak kena navigate lagi <laughs> so i do understand and i think one of you said this earlier eh, in a couple of years time Uh, 10% of Malaysian population eh, will get into the category the category of warga emas lah, 60 and above. Eh. So we need and 10% of your population is quite a lot. Eh. We do need to go out there and help them. That's why I introduce this scenario. All right. So training, talk about that. Afraid, uncertain, talk about that. What about ABC? Anything to add? Yep. Uh. Selain daripada um, Kodis komuniti mm. um, Kementerian 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 
bahkan juga mengenangkan PPK uh, pusat pembangunan komuniti. Ah, okey. Jadi dia sediakan komputer. Hmm. Jadi um, katakan um, everything is free lah di situ. Free. Yes. Ah, wow. Uh, komputer provide by the ministry. Wow, that's good. Still, everything is paid by the ministry lah. Nice. Jadi and is run by Uh, the people itself and other technical support. Okay. Even. Okay, good. Jadi, uh, pada kumpulan kami, pada mm. kumpulan EDC, uh, bukan sahaja uh, peruang untuk latihan itu, mm. tapi dia juga uh, pembuktian kepada kebekasanan uh, dunia tinggi. Jadi, mm. tak guna tunjuk pada dia boleh masuk ni, boleh ni, ni. Mm -hmm. Dia percaya ke? Boleh jahit uh, buku ke tidak? Ah, uh, uh, evidence. Itu kita nak. Itu lah. Terus story. Mak saya marah saya. Pergi kat kaum kita bayar film. <laughs> kita kan boleh bayar online. Uh. Sebab dia tengok. Uh, apa saya buat. Tengah-tengah uh. malam. Lepas tu terus <coughs> dapat message kan. Tadi grup kita pinjam. Hmm. Kau kata. Bapa how much you already paid. Thank you kan. Uh. For the yep. payment. So terus tunjuk the bukti yang dia nak tengok bahawa it's a and it's fast and it's really delivered what it's supposed to deliver ah okay so, okay and all these people uh, who are the trainers ah that's who also another trainers? thing eh? so, yeah trainers <coughs> kita suruh um dok dok sekarang buat sama juga kat pejabat kalau saya minta tolong anak buah saya buat mm. dia akan buat laju je bukan dia ajar dia buat dia tak sabar kan kami take it lah kepada orang yang paling tua dekat kumpulan sini ah, ah. dia buat faham 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 dia buat tau pasal nak cepat kan of course dia cepat tapi this uh, warga emas dia akan rasa memang aku ni bodoh sangat kot tak boleh nak belajar That's sort of thing, you know. Understand, that's understand. Yeah. That's why, That's true, eh? Lambat sikit eh? Ah, kalau ah. dia cepat ya, bukan bukan as dia cepat. Sebab you bayar online, you pergi kat sana you dah boleh dapat punya road tax. Ah. Yang lain dia lambat. Jadi okay. bukti tu kena bawa sekali. Ada ah, bukti. Jangan bawa uh, you punya uh, apparatus yang terlampau canggih yang dia tak boleh nak. Hmm. Tak faham And jangan print halus-halus Tak nampak Tak nampak <laughs> oh, Betul-betul Tak nampak ah. So um, <coughs> This what Dia orang tanya pada saya This Saya cakap balik Pengalaman orang yang dah Ya yeah, ya yeah. <laughs> Hujah-hujah yang baik Ya yeah, ya yeah. Terima kasih Good point is eh? Very good point is Right So training is one Dah ada pun training khusus-khusus diberikan kepada mereka Tapi bagaimana mereka diajar Eh, that's also another important thing you know. I totally agree with you The trainer or teacher makes a difference You can have any courses even But it doesn't mean you get it Because what you said, right? Some of these trainers Maybe they are good in content But not good in teaching that content, right? Hence, pedagogical skills are as important as the content itself. Give you a good example, eh? It doesn't mean that you are good in physics, you can teach physics well. 
there is no correlation to that you can be good at it but it doesn't mean that you can teach it well so again ah they are given support there are colleges there are centers that they can go to but how are they taught right are they given the opportunity to first get over their fear and uncertainty of IT and then get into the nuts and bolts of things i think that's very important moving along that table flex flexible eh ke flexibility same lah flexible flexibility any anything to add ah bagaimana kita hendak membantu cik ros kita maybe other points lah other points Okay, um, saya rasa pakat yang kita tahu Ada banyak dah lah Pusat-pusat mm. uh, Termasuklah yang kami ada nampak di sini Pusat internet satu Malaysia Dia yeah, ada KKMM ah. Dan aplikasi multimedia uh, Oh, hearing a lot now 33,600 orang pengguna Terdiri daripada warga emas ha. uh, Itu maksudnya Dia orang dah dapat akses kepada bantuan Ah, okay, bagus tu uh, tapi masih <coughs> lagi ramai yang takut-takut hmm. uh, Saya rasa mungkin approach kepada uh, golongan-golongan ni lah uh, Macam dia orang nak yang orang yang boleh bersabar Kalau nak mengajar dia semua kan Lagi hmm. satu mungkin media kita boleh gunakan yep. uh, Dekat TV sendiri <coughs> Kita ada kanan Ajar slot lah Memang dia pagi tu free Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's really datang di rumah lah. Hmm. Kita ada family. So maybe the the keterlibatan ahli keluarga tu dalam membantu dalam training tu adalah lebih lebih mudah lah ah. ratio untuk of TV mesti <coughs> TV mm, mm. kita tak gunakan TV tu untuk information uh, dengan cara lebih mudah secara visual mm, mm. kita boleh tengok dan the family members kena ni lah ah, bantulah ah. ok sebab so, pusat tu sangat ah. ada punya study tu tak ramai pun yang okay. ya yeah. I think ya yeah. Susun ada Yang susulah Nak dapat this kind of kursus uh, Maybe what we can do Is what you said lah Maybe one uh, Family members that can come in and help okay, Satu I don't know whether they have Mobile near training centre Ada tak? Ada tak? Mobile They go from one daerah To daerah yang lain Untuk membantu in terms of Ada juga ah, Okay so that's good Alright So this sort of Things that we Anything to add? Hujah-hujah nak yang diketengahkan Okay, Assalamualaikum As you can memang semua orang bagi a very good ni kan Contoh-contoh and pandangan kan For me, I I too have experience Have brother sisters yang memang over 60s Yang I know they don't use Maybe tu they will prefer go to line up Walaupun bukan tak tahu internet Internet saya gila kita ada pada Mio pun Everything new they work Catch on first Because they all ada masa nak go and you know Tengok tapi Never Tentang government punya Pasal Services kan Ataupun PPN pun tak akan tentu juga So The things yang saya rasa macam untuk Cik Rose punya case lain kan For me we need to get her addicted to something dulu One thing je bagi dia cannot live without Okay, something yang you know Kalau macam her interest lah Kata-kata macam kata dia suka tengok Apa, syarah apa syarah agama on YouTube ke online ke apa ke Macam kita tengok kan budak-budak kalau tak mau balik kampung Sebab tak ada unify Tak ada network Without the network So sekarang ni there is kita kena make sure satu kita ajar dia oh, one by one satu satu benda at one time mm. then they come to work with one thing first oh, yeah. okay okay yeah without the network mm. need to have the network they <coughs> to assess dia punya YouTube ke dia punya rancangan apa-apa yang dia 
minat dulu. Hmm. Memang kita ada education, semua kita ada education. Tapi education, kita tak boleh separate education dengan kita punya everyday life. Everyday uh, everyday life tu, we have to implement apa yang kita belajar. No, it's like a separate thing. Benda yang uh, on silos. You belajar, 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 so you tinggal kat situ. Tapi sebenarnya kita belajar, so that kita belajar masa wifi, internet, supaya kita hmm. buat online section. Ah. To the daily things yang kita nak buat <coughs> Nak nak buat, nak bayar Pil elektrik ke, ataupun nak pakai Grab, you over, I have a brother Oh my god, my brother dah Bukan, tak educated dah Pergi mana-mana dah, Grab tak nanti makan <laughs> Just imagine this kan? So, we need to Download Grab dekat dia punya Handphone, handphone yeah. He has everything, smartphone macam-macam gadget Dekat dia, Grab dah tak guna How is that? Yeah. Macam mana you actually this with what you have been doing and what your daily life is yeah, yeah, yeah. so we need to like scale it so and it's easier for him he is uh, he's more mobile now ah. so these are the things that kita kena percaya kata 10% of kita akan pergi ke uh, warga ajikai I, I am sure that 10% though if they are now in this kita punya kita punya Make sure that they don't have from technology dengan apa yang boleh guna the technology untuk jadi macam tak ada connection. It is so like disconnect. Hmm hmm. It is like macam point yang kita continue them what they did. I I still remember when we bought my handphone. Kita ada video, but when she sees that she can connect to her. Kan? My brother, we have 13 uh, brothers and sisters She remember, remember all of us uh, our birthday Kadang-kadang saya tak ingat uh, Kakak punya birthday, abang punya birthday She remember us all, anak, cucu punya semua <laughs> So, she will be the one yang Happy birthday, <coughs> wishes Pukul 12.01 minit Oh, oh. <laughs> Right, you're right So, dia tak sekali Passionate kat dia kan She wants to reach Hmm No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I hear something that is very interesting. Come. Um, yeah. One thing that. And there was also an issue about trying to get the older folks to be interested in the internet trying to play with this uh, technology. What they did was they incentivize the budak-budak ni to mengajar orang tua, not necessarily their grandparents. So it becomes like a voluntary thing, eh, tapi ada duit. So pasal they incentivize ni, budak-budak ni akan lagi motivated. So what they did was in the community centers in Singapore, they actually recruit all these students yang memang banyak time and they know about all the technology. They encourage all the old folks to, to come. And they work together and they are, they are brilliant about it. And I remember in another country that does it even better. They have a lot of young young people who are out of work, who are refugees. Kan? Tapi they obviously have time and skills on their hands. They put them in... Take care of them so they get a They are using some... ...and job. That could be one idea. Another idea that... be a channel on digital digital transformation or digital punya uh, awareness for, for the old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 another way that you, that you can do it. So, so very, very good idea to do. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The other one is, may I ask, eh? um, someone highlighted this. I just want to know uh, whether this is true or not. In some rural areas, Wi-Fi tak dapat eh? Is it? Yeah. So, it is still prevalent? Memang sampai sekarang pun begitu. Yeah. Jadi bagaimana yeah. ya? Yeah. Ya. Because that's uh, line, line phone pun, pun tak, tak work. Ah. 
You see, remember you were talking about IT, yeah. systems, infrastructure and how good those things must be in order for us to get online. Now, this is very basic, right? Let's say we have all these things, cursus that the, we can train them and all that. Then they need to get online. <laughs> is the Wi-Fi strong? Can I get connected? No, huh? Wow. Yeah. See, there we go. Huh? It is a major concern, right? So which means... Right, just now, top right. The Wi-Fi, the signal, right? That's also another thing that we need to worry about. We can have the best of devices. Kita boleh adakan kursus-kursus untuk membantu warga emas ini. Kita boleh melakukan semua ini, tetapi bagaimana untuk Wi-Fi pula? Sebab they need Wi-Fi in order for them to get connected. Or some broadband or some way to get connected, right? We need to ensure that the signal is strong for them to get online. So... Back to our many factors yesterday, right? And one of the factors that all of you raised was this, IT infrastructure. Yeah. Anyone from the IT infrastructure division here? <laughs> no, eh? Walaupun. Kalau dia ada pun tadi keluar. Tadi, eh? Bila cakap, Laplan. Yeah, I think we need to do something about that. <coughs> Solutions? Anyone? Ideas? Not in five years time. Not in five years time? Oh, you don't think? Alamak. Tak boleh masuk kan kita? Can't we penetrate into daerah-daerah begini? Get the Wi-Fi signal going? Get the broadband all going? Can't. You think it's not doable? Oh, okay. So now, it's back to our top leaders. Is it? Ah, back to our top leaders. Ah, why? Ini dah masuk politics ni. Ah, ini satu yang I tak ada dalam my slide. <laughs> Next time kita tengok macam mana eh, kita boleh masukkan politics in IT. And, <laughs> and digital government. Eh? Politics in DG, is it? Is that such a thing? Maybe there is. Eh? Right, politics in rolling up. Yes. I'm sure the, hmm. I mean, in terms of the cost of broadband also, I think there's something that I would like to raise also. I'm yeah not sure what, what is the rate in, in Singapore, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure I think in Korea or something like that, the, 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 the cost of broadband is so cheap. Mm, mm, mm. Cheaper than, than Malaysia. So I think oh, that okay. is part of the something that, that the point of political will will take place. Mm. Yeah, actually yesterday, thank you. Yesterday we talked about that, right? Eh? Finance, right? Talk about money, so budget, remember? Yeah. Yeah, another aspect that we talk about, right? Remember? Yeah. So that's also another thing that we need to worry about. Wow. <clears throat> Many factors, huh? <laughs> that's when now I know why you all say more than five years. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. I know. But I think if we want to get there fast, all these things need to be ironed out. Right? Certain people need to do certain things to iron these things out. In order for us to get DG going, right? So that we can get to the ones who are, well, they are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, off the grid. <laughs> they are off the grid. Get them to be under the grid. Get them to be back under the radar so that we can now service them well, right? Because if they want to get connected to us, if they want to make use of the various government services, they need to be connected. In fact, yesterday too, right? You talk about connectivity, right? We can talk about integration on that, which is, uh, okay, that's also another story, yeah? To, to minus off the layers and get everyone together, that's one aspect. Then the other aspect now is IT infrastructure, right? Basic, no, right? Like electricity in some certain places is not stable. Oh, now, okay. So even electricity is not, wow, how like that, huh? Electricity from the table, okay, IT, eh? Oh, that one is, okay. Half of Sabah blackout. Half of Sabah blackout. Uh, Half of Sabah blackout. Uh, Abis. Last year. Yeah, you have something to share. Uh, I, 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 I,
Sekarang ni terlalu banyak pusat Kita ada juga program daripada college committee ah. Dan then see of the same thing that you do You have been overlapping of ah. Which we said yesterday too, right? Remember about duplications. Mm. Ah. Ah. Thank you, you know, thank you for iterating this, you know. About this yesterday, right? Minimizing the duplications, right? Wastages. So I'm hearing this, you know. Ladies and gents, I'm hearing that we need, it is actually a systemic problem now, right? It is at the highest level. It is the way it is structured <clears throat> right so come back to this whole domain of strategic thinking systems thinking learning organizations design thinking to, to plan better in order for us to reach out better and roll out effectively too i'm hearing that yes we are doing this right now but Pull everyone together and say, hey, right, let us now get this money to support this program which is already ongoing and make it better rather than have this and then have another one and then <laughs> develop another one. So it's really systemic now. All right, I urge you all again as we move along today eh, to think about how we can tackle this at the systemic level at the highest level so that we can come together and make this better all right think about that i know it's not easy lah. it's not easy it takes a lot of time too but if we can do this now then i think we can shorten that timeline again i'm, I'm always back more than thank you everyone pusat-pusat agama yang lain hmm. um, yang um, gunakan uh, yang juga memberi latihan uh, untuk hmm. contoh dekat hmm. uh, tempat saya duduk lah hmm. dia ada kelas uh. pakcik dia buat kelas pakcik and dia announce lepas sebarang subuh selepas kuliah subuh dia hmm. announce Uh, pagi ni pukul berapa kita ada, kita ada kelas Sama juga tempoh yang saya pergi Jadi pada saya uh, Bukan saja keluarga tadi apa semua Tapi di tempat yang kita tempat ibadat kita Yang digunakan juga untuk Ah, ada. Okey. Okay. Hmm. Berkaitan dengan apa yang Puan dicakap tu dulu. Kalau di 
saya sendiri bahawa bagaimana kita memperkenalkan penggunaan IT, IT. Uh, sebagai contoh berkaitan dengan khairat kematian Ah. So, macam pengurusi taman itu sendiri orang yang dah bincin lah depan saya tu Tapi kita membiasakan penggunaan IT ni dari segi pemakluman dia uh, Tentang sesuatu kematian itu menggunakan grup asap And then juga dari segi pembayaran uh, airat kematian itu sendiri kita pun secara online ah. Jadi dengan keadaan okay. keadaan yang, yang tidak rasmi ini sebenarnya mendidik kita Dan juga waktu tu bagaimana penggunaan IT itu memudahkan So dari segi satunya pembayaran itu kita boleh buat di video lah hmm. Dan pemakluman tu kita secara tekan sekali tapi semua orang boleh Boleh tahu akan suatu video Hmm, ah, good idea Ya, yeah, ya yeah. yeah. Terima kasih Back again to what we spoke yesterday We discussed yesterday Design thinking, right? we think might be good for residents or citizens not be not be good. so what we think when we develop these colleges we develop these centers in the mosques ago about two and a half years ago with this organization Mendaki in Singapore Mendaki Mendaki is a self-help group in Singapore I was with Mendaki Sense I was an ED there so anyway uh, I booted this idea lepas solat Jumaat pergilah ke masjid-masjid I have I pun tak ramai orang I got 72 staff that time and out of that 72 I have 6 saja uh, business or sales staff so I need to send them out to the masjid masjid lah mosque in Singapore I told them this is one way because kita buat kursus Right? So I told them, the best way I think, again I didn't do even design thinking, I think I think to get to the elderly folks, maybe we should go to the mosque Intuitive kan? Selalunya mereka di sana So we go there Alright, we did capture a good number of crowd there So what, what happens? Sebelum khutbah Jumaat, one of my staff, of course I need to call pengurusi masjid dulu Al Mutakin lah, Majid Al Shafa'ah lah, uh, you know Al Falah. So call them. These are all executive chairmen. Kita di Singapura kalau kamu juga ada executive chairman, ada pengurusi. So executive chairman first, then after that pengurusi masjid. Then call uh, Haji Paiman kerja. Uh, uh, boleh tak kita pergi uh, yang masjid this Friday sebelum solat Jumaat, sebelum khutbah tu kita boleh buat announcement tak? Dan kita ada satu booth. They give. Alhamdulillah lah. Syukur saja, okay, so we have So that's how we uh, reach out to the elderly folks in Singapore To get them to be excited about IT So I hear you and that's a good point But it would be better, right? I thought lah that I should do design thinking too To talk to the elderly folks Where do you think or how do you think we can reach you better? Right, maybe we'll talk about this What we think might be right might not be you know? Might not be, really Maybe the kaedah yang lain that they want. Maybe mosque is one of them. Maybe for all you and I know. That if mosque is the place where they want to get trained, then shut down the rest. Because that's the best way to reach out to them. But again, it is us. Alright? We need to go into design thinking mode to ask residents and citizens what is the best mode of reaching out to you. Let's say sekarang eh, contohnya dalam arena training ni. Kita fikir college is a good way to go Kita fikir training center is good But is that really the way to go? I don't know Maybe it is, maybe it's not Because we never ask I don't know whether we asked them before Right? So back again to design thinking What again eh, might we think eh, Might be good for people, might not be So it's back to planning eh. So design thinking is at the planning stage you know, Right? There is a saying that goes eh, If you give me 8 hours to chop down a tree I would take six hours sharpening the axe. Again, huh? if you give me eight hours to chop down the tree, I would spend six hours just sharpening the axe so that I can cut it down easier, faster, more effectively. Planning. 
good planning, strategic planning must be implemented before we execute a program. Because if we were to do that quickly, we would end up having problems. It's very um, counterintuitive, eh? but counterintuitive is like that like, in the world these days. What do you think might be right, might not be right? Kita selalu buat the things that we think that's right. Right? Like you think, okay, planning is it? Okay, let's execute quickly. Because why? Our bosses need to see some results. But it's like any other thing in this world, it's time bound to, right? We need to make sure that we have this proper planning, this strategic planning, coming together of heads, putting aside differences and agendas, but really to look into the needs of the citizens. Because, ladies and gents, we are in the public service sector. We are serving clients. Who are our clients? The residents and the citizens. We need to ask them. in Southeast Asia were suffering from an outbreak of malaria, so they called the World Health Organization for help. The World Health Organization had a ready-made solution, which was to spray copious amounts of DBT around the island. With the application of DBT, the mosquitoes that carried the malaria were knocked down, and so was the malaria. There were some interesting side effects, though. The first was that the roofs of people's houses began to collapse on their heads. Turns out the DDT not only killed off the malaria-carrying mosquitoes, but it also killed a species of that controlled a population of the Dayak people's homes were made from. of rats We all know what happens when rats multiply and flourish. Pretty soon the Dayak people were It was the plague and the destruction both of which were caused by the overpopulation of rats. time, the world made solution Live cats into Morgan. <laughs> Operation Cat Drop occurred courtesy of the Royal Air Force and eventually stabilized the situation. <laughs> Interesting, yeah? Right? Just reiterated my point, right? <clears throat> it started out with malaria, it's kind of like parachute cats. Because why? Didn't think. Through properly. Right? You think that there is a solution, a quick one, but you didn't think of the side effects that will happen later on. That's another one, huh? it's called system thinking. Huh? Right, so design thinking, systems thinking, learning organizations, these are basic tools that we can use before we roll out a certain program. So that we know it becomes effective. 
effective and we are not in a way finding a solution or to solve create more problems <clears throat> interesting if you think about it eh? that's why we need to look at the systems around us what are the systems that are at play in order for us to bring them together so that we don't lose sight of all of the systems so by all the systems they come together you know, your own department is one system but your department is working in a larger system and that system works in a larger system too and all the systems interact with one another it makes up the organizational ecosystem and one system believe it or not depends on the other clear for you to think about these other systems is a failure for you to find good solutions you'll find a solution but you do not know what will happen to this so-called solution years from now five years from now you wouldn't know because perhaps you did into a the critical systems that are at scary yeah? but that happens you know sometimes if we don't and properly or don't get the right people or the systems could come into play it can hurt us along the way we need help <coughs> who are these people huh? <clears throat> ha siapa ni Normally, they are called they keep learning, determined to listen, watch, recognize what's happening, committed to change wherever and whenever needed. Opportunities to know how to identify the best people, get of them. Leaders. This module B. We are going to talk about leaders. We are going to talk about you as leaders, as task force personnel too. That's what I got, ah, eh? task force personnel. That's what I got from um, from the. That need to into, and we need to share with all of you how to do this right. Because again, it all starts from the leader. What we have been talking since like 9:05 a.m. this morning is centers around that the management of things, leadership. How are we going to do strategic planning now? How are we going to pull systems together? The ones who can do this effectively are the leaders, and you are a leader too, in your own right. Pause. Don't worry, I won't give you any sub Uzis, you know, um, RBGs, and you know, you're not going to do that. That's not the kind of task force. It is. We are going to look into digital, digital government. All right, how we can do this, right? And task force is this. Task force is about mission. Eh? That's why I bring this, uh, this uh, image in. When we set up a task force, there is a mission. A task force is set up when the mission is accomplished. The task force is dissolved. Another task force will come into play when there is another thing that we need to do, when there is another mission to accomplish. So all of you are here. This is why I understand that there is a task that we need to fulfill, and the task is to ensure that digital government in Malaysia is alive and well and kicking in the next five years, or so. Preferably earlier, but I know there are a lot of challenges. I know that, right? I know that you have been saying this. Mensana in Copro Sano. Anyone? In fact, I introduced this the last time around. Anyone can still remember? No, this is not Dayak language. <laughs> It's Latin. Yes, Mensana in Copro Sano. Can you remember? Alamak, I said lah, sedih. I actually, I actually gave you the answer last time around. Yeah, ingat tak? Men sana in Kapro Sano, anyone? Some, in fact, most of you were here. Right, last time when we were at KL, when we did this. A sound mind in a sound body. Yes. 
a sound mind in a sound body. Mensa in Kapolo Sano. Alright, so we do need... Why I introduce this? Because it's also very important for us to take care of everything, a holistic, eh? holistic development of the human being. Before we can even embark on certain programs or tasks, we need to be sound everything, you know, in everything that we do. Sound mind in a sound body. That's why we have to exercise in a way. So, this time around, okay, I want us to get thinking about certain things. Uh, this is where Hyrule, you will assist me. You can jump in right now. I need each table to have a major paper. Yes. Uh, as we move along, I want you... So let's just get this paper. We are going to use this mahjong paper throughout today. And I want you to populate this mahjong paper as we move along. There are certain concepts that I would want to introduce. There are certain ideas that I want you to think about. And if something comes to mind, I want you to populate this piece of paper. Because at the end of the day, that will be your plan. Believe it or not. I will make sure it's, it, it happens. Huh? So that will be some, there will be some plans coming out from there, but you need to get involved. Right? So this is an activity that I think might be very useful for all. Let's start with this before I go to my next slide. On the table, Mr. the artist artist, eh? Because yesterday also I saw lots of good somewhat drawing. <laughs> Thank you. They should have markers, right? On the table? Or don't have? No markers, eh? I don't know. Eh? Alright, we start out with this. Open up the paper. Spread it out. Uh, you will get your markers soon enough. Yeah. Because that will be on your table throughout. Anyone can jump in and populate this paper. An idea comes up. <coughs> yep. Wow, nice. Yep. Multiple colors. Thank you. An assortment of markers you will get soon enough. Just give, uh, give us a minute. Hyrule is going around. <coughs> Somewhere there, either in the middle, at the side, and all that, I want you to write this. Huh? First, leadership. Alright? It could be center, it could be at the side, up to you. Alright, leadership. Yep. Somewhere at the side, someone in the middle, IT infrastructure. Uh, I, I leave it up to you. It's okay. It's how you want to represent. Uh, which A is fine. IT infrastructure is the other one. Uh, boleh, boleh, boleh. IT infra, ITF. Pun boleh juga. Uh, color line lah. <coughs> Next, what you're doing right now. Professional development. You can put PD. It's fine. Bukan Port Dixon lah. Hanya boleh juga Port Dixon. Ah, atau itu prof dev pun boleh lah. Ah, professional development. Oh. Alright, somewhere there in the middle at the side, wherever you want. Ah, okay. At the side, mana mana pun boleh, it's fine. Leave it up to you. Next one. What do you think I want to say? Leadership. IT infrastructure. Professional development. What else? Technology. We have human development there. We have leadership there. We have IT infrastructure there. What else? Policy. We're talking about policies yesterday. Right? Policies and procedures. Policies and procedures. Yes. 
Next one, I want you to write content. Ah, remember? Again, anywhere at the side, center, is fine. All right, we will start off with that first. We will start off with those first. As ideas come to you, you put those ideas on that paper of yours. If you think there are other themes, there are other titles yang you nak introduce, you can introduce them now. I give you one minute. If you think that there are other ideas that you want to introduce as you move along, you can do that now. Before I move on to my next slide. Yes, yeah. So process dah ada pun eh, under procedures and policies eh. So that's our process there too. Any others that you want to introduce, you can do so. All right. Wow, I have culture and belief. I have finance, I see. Interesting. Yep. Again, uh, this will be your working paper. You will populate this as we move along. <coughs> Not to worry, I think as you move along, mesti ada idea-idea yang lain akan datang. Then I want you to put it down on your paper. But if these ideas are related to the teams, please connect them to the teams. Alright? Thank you. You it. We are going. In conclusion, dah habis pun? Eh, no lah, no. Of course not. Again, begin with any mind, huh? It begins with me, I have to believe. So first, it must begin with you before we start this, huh? You have to believe in the cause. If you don't believe in the cause, it's difficult for us to do this. Alright? So you have to buy in. You have to get on board. Aware of the situation around me, as you move along, I want you to think about systems. Think about design thinking. Think about how you want to pull things together. Not easy, I know. But I want you to think about all these things. The things that we have discussed yesterday and this morning. Eh? Next. Strategic planning. So as we plan, think about is this plan doable? Can I now act on it and then follow up on it? Because certain plans, it looks very nice on paper. Cantik eh, on paper. Wow, very bagus. But bila nak execute, oh, a lot of things you need to think about. Unless you are able to neutralize those things or manage those things in order for you to do it right. So, task force would comprise representatives of the steering com, main implementation partner, leaders of respective thematic groups, which I think we have here. Some of you are from GPA, some of you are MOT, alright? Good. Then, on the advice of the steering comm, task force would convene the thematic workshops in succession. So, this is a workshop, one of them. Receive recommendations from each group. Task force would approve agenda, participants, discussion forums. Task force will comment on the recommendation, which you will. Existence of the task force would supersede duration of the said task. It would convene periodically. Steering call may also suggest recommended or recommend representatives of the task force. Steering may also selected to represent their areas of expertise. So you will represent these experts 
Alright? If you need to, you can travel other tables and ask for their opinion if you think that you don't have the info. So the task force, if you look at it, eh, if you are part of a task force, you are part of this group that will do that leg work too. You need to interact with other departments. You need to find out certain things from other divisions. Not easy, eh? Yeah. You have to do your homework in order for you to get the picture, the big picture. In order for you to look into all of those things that you have on your paper so that you are able to again execute well later on. So this is in a way your role right, in the task force. So being in the task force is not as easy. Yesterday, this leadership strategy. Delivery and all under leadership, set direction, motivate people, develop people, strategy, outcome focus, evidence base, collaborate and build common purpose. Innovative delivery, plan, resource and prioritize, shared commitment. Again, in each one of the sector, there are sub-sectors or sub-divisions that you need to look into too. As a task force, you need to cover as much as possible all of these areas. What? We have been saying this, right? Address the start to finish. Make it simple. Build this agile and iterative practice. Track charges. One leader, one person accountable. Bring in experienced teams. Choose a modern technology stack, deploy in a flexible hosting environment, automate testing and deployments, manage security and privacy, use data to drive decisions. Open. Some of these things are very, very pertinent and significant for us. Right? Before we start our work or try to get the off the ground in the most effective understand make it intuitive maci maci kalau tak simple complex finish they will not stay with you all right they will not use these services that you have they will not transact online they will go back to the buildings they will do it too you need to make it simple you need to make it intuitive. And I agree. Right, Puan, you said earlier, right? Have one thing first that might hook them. Right? They think that this works. And then later on, introduce other, slowly lah, complex things. So that they are able to get on board progressively. As like any other plans, it needs to be rolled out in phases. Right? For some plans, you need pilot. I know a lot of pilot tests are going on right now. Before you even go full on, roll out effectively, right? You need to pilot a certain program to see whether it works in a certain place. But then again, bila you pilot pun, kadang-kadang, bila you introduce to other places, it may not work well. But at least maybe 60, 70% work, the other 30% you need to mitigate. Right? Because profiles are different too. Right? Maybe most of you have this before. It's good to recap. Ready? What is thinking? Use less energy in their homes. 
how would you go about it? We spend time with our homes and schools across the country. Motivations, habits, delights, and frustrations. The research included kids in the mainstream. patterns. We captured our observations on hundreds of post-it notes. All out to make sense of at your knowing this what do you think you want to write there no design thinking what do you think you can do now at this moment first look at your themes i want you to pen some ideas you want to connect it you can if you want to connect certain things together you want to make some notes now you can I'll give you about two or three minutes all right Go. Learning systems thinking too just now, right? What is systems thinking? <clears throat> I want you to write certain things that come to mind right now.
Oh, okay. Nanti eh. Ready? Break ready tak? One break ready, right? Okay. It's 10.30 already. Let's have our break and think about it. Reflect on what we have just seen. Alright, this morning and just now. Have a tea, I make kopi sikit. Drink, get some caffeine in the body. And then to make sense of what is on the paper right now. Alright, I know it can be overwhelming. But I think after coffee, should be okay. Let's go. Alright, let's have a bit of... Uh, Uh, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know if you think it's leadership. No right or wrong. What do you think? What do you think? Ah. 